Okay, experiment time. The ATF titanium stove. Always been curious. They say if you put the can on top, it works as its own simmering. I figure what's more sensitive than baked beans with lots of sugar? So I'm going to fire this up. Okay, I'm going to try to fire this up. Okay. Now that's the problem with alcohol stoves, you can't see if they're burning, but it's burning. I'm going to let it bloom and then I'll put it on. The uh, There's a few pot grabbers out there, MSR makes this lightweight pot grabber, but what's becoming my favorite is this tiny Knipex Cobra plier. I don't know if you can see it here, sorry. This Knipex Cobra plier, it, uh, it's really excellent with nuts and bolts. So it turns it into a really good multifunctional tool. This you can only use on cans. This you can use on everything. You'd be amazed at the amount of uh, grip you can get with this thing. Okay, it's blooming. It would have been better with the lights off, but give it just a little, a little more time. Now if you use the pot stand that comes with it, you can actually put it on there, put your can on right away, it'll bloom right underneath your can, or your, your cup. But, I'm going to give this a shot, I've got a uh, fire, extinguisher, fire extinguisher nearby, so we'll see what happens. I'll probably start and stop, or maybe fast forward through some of this. But. Nice big piece of fat on the top. I don't normally eat like this. Um, I mean, if you've been out riding all day, you just want something. There's a lot of energy in this little can of beans and sugar. I wouldn't normally cook in the can either, but it's an experiment. Don't really like the thumping noise I'm hearing though. Kind of surprised the label's not burning too. Now with this, one of the reasons I like this alcohol stove so much is the fact that it's got lines inside that show you how much alcohol you put in it so you don't have to pre-measure all the measurements are right inside the alcohol stove Getting some action pretty quick here not that hot yet but I don't think it's going to take too long I put a full 60 milliliter line or possibly all the way to the full line. They're pretty close to each other. So I have a feeling this stove is I'm gonna not need nearly that much. You can recover alcohol, but it's a little tough. Well, oh, must have got some over the side. Yes I did. I don't want to plug up my my nice stove. But. Now if you really have an interest in all different kinds of stoves, there's a website called or a YouTube channel called Paleo Hiker. I think he's got like 60 videos on different kinds of alcohol stoves, wood stoves. Um, he's a great guy. Ernie, he's a, a general practitioner who likes to backpack but he's got a real thing for stoves. So, Okay. I'm amazed at how fast this is going. I think I'll get a cup of water together too. Maybe make some tea.
Yeah, this is really taking me by surprise. I, uh, I don't know what to ex didn't know what to expect, but it's coming along real fast. I don't know. I like beans. Nothing wrong with a good bean. I'm just uh, trying to keep a little sugar. So this won't do that, but. Just about there. Interesting. So, if you wanted to do that, put any kind of can on top of it, you could. You just got to worry about it tipping over. Um, another option is to set it inside the big wood stove. It won't help the can keep from turning over, but it will help keep the uh, stove from tipping and that's the big fear in locations where you have fire bands they say you can't use alcohol stoves and I believe it's for the fear of tipping now this cook pot is from an old Esbit stove set the Esbit stove on it was terrible but you get one of these little tri wings and they're excellent um, Highly recommend these if you want to go ultra light. Okay. I started a stopwatch a little late, but we'll see how long it takes for that to come to a rolling boil. The beans are nice and hot. So that took no time at all. So if you're worried about an alcohol stove not being fast enough, I don't know, it was maybe what, four or five minutes, maybe less? I guess I can look it up. Um, I started the timer late, but we'll see how long the water takes, but that comes pretty fast too. Yep, beans are hot. I do really like this pot. Um, the Espit stove that came with it that sat inside was horrible. Um, if you want to use Espit, it works really well, but it stinks. And you really want to wipe off the bottom of your pot while it's still hot. I've wiped it off in grass and stuff. It just gets the most of the guck off. Um, with this being anodized aluminum, it cleans a little easier. So, it's about 35, 40 degrees in the shop this morning. Yeah, that did a real nice job on those. If you like beans, it's one way to go. Raise this up a little. Excuse my messy shop. So, don't know if you can see me stir that. This camera I'm using is a DJI Pocket 2, they used to call them the, oh, I can't remember, the Osmo. Um, it's a good camera, screen's really small. If you have an iPhone, you can use it as a remote, uh, a remote monitor. I have an iPhone for work, forgot to grab it to use. So, the monitor is really small, so I can't see what's going on. But being able to control it and see it on a, on a phone size screen is really a nice thing. Um, terrible on the bike. You see nothing but vibrations I can put in a, a clip from the bike. Um, but I've got a helmet mount for it, so I'm going to give that a try. Two minutes and 55 seconds.
And that's kind of the amazing thing. Um, using this little titanium esbit stove, the tri-wing or whatever they call it, and using this little Vargo 750 Sierra cup, I've scrambled eggs in no time at all. It's a uh, Espit water is like the worst thing to heat up in the world. It carries so much heat or so much cold. I don't know whatever you want to call it, but it. Uh, yeah, we're getting close. Probably another two minutes. It's at four minutes now. Probably close to five. But as you can see, you can make beans or whatever you want. You know, or you can boil water for a. An instant meal you can make tea which is what I'm gonna do after this it's uh it's all up to you what you want to do with it alcohol stoves are more than capable some people hate them they take a little longer and outside you do need a windscreen you can take some aluminum foil if you buy this combination you can use the the wood stove put it in the wood stove use that for your for your windscreen so I really like the combination I've used the wood stove on its own I was at a park forgot alcohol <laughs> so I filled the bottom with chunks of charcoal you know leftover charred wood from the, the campering start a little fire on top got it to burn down and once those charcoals lit I cooked I don't know I boiled a couple things of water to make uh, mashed potatoes So, alcohol stove can do it. It just takes a little longer. Oh yeah, it's boiling on the edges. I don't call it rolling boil till it starts popping the lid a little bit. There we go. You can see the steam coming out. That's official. So I'm going to let you go. Well, I'll fill that up. Rolling boil, 5 minutes, 50 seconds. It's kind of slow. The uh, These cat can stoves here, these tend to work about the fastest. These work excellent in sub-zero weather. If you ever watch Sean Emery or Shug Emery, he does minus 40 degree backpacking, or actually hammock hanging. <laughs> And camping and uh, he uses this for his coffee every morning so excellent stove cost you next to nothing to make um, I hope this helps and you have a great day something I really love about this uh, ATF titanium and the Evernew titanium I believe is the same some of the other knockoffs there's a 30 milliliter line and 60 milliliter line and a full line so you know just how much you're filling in without having to pre-measure excellent thing to have a lesson to learn um, when you empty out extra fuel out of your stove I like to relight them you can see this one's burning quite a bit I let it cool down I poured the alcohol out and I let what was left in there and it still burned for a little while I think it's a safety thing I don't want alcohol dripping on my stuff either so a recommendation always burn out your alcohol stove after you empty it